it over there in the lake. I'll see you lunch time. Have a nice day. Fat chance for that. Vera is turning this search for a new secretary into the quest for the Holy Grail. Only bloodier. <laughs> <laughs> En die teenwoordigheid van allemaal hier vergader en in die volle besef van die hoge roeping wat ek as uitvoerende as jong president in dienst van die Republiek van Zuid-Afrika aanvaar zweer ek Frederik Willem de Klerk hiermee plechtig trouw aan die Republiek van Zuid-Afrika en beloof ek plechtig en oprecht dat ek te alle tye sal bevorder wat tot die voordeel van die republiek is en sal afweer wat die republiek kan skaad die grondwet en alle ander recht van die republiek sal gehoorzaam, eerbiedig, handhaaf en onderhoud my werkzaamhede getrouw met al my krachte en talente na my beste vermoe en kennis en getrouw aan die stem van my gewete sal uitvoer aan almal rechts sal laat geskiet en my aan die welsein van die republiek en al sy mense sal weet luf as het bleef die rechte hand F.W. de Klerk so help my God so help my die drie enige God Vader, Seen en Heilige Geest Second Deputy President and takes the oath in Afrikaans, the language of the oppressor, as the black people of South Africa used to call it. And in this period of reconciliation, he speaks that language and now signs the Bible to applause. And next, the first Deputy President, Thabo Mbeki of the ANC, will be sworn in. The Honourable Chief Justice congratulating him. Will the Deputy President elect Mr. Tabombegi now proceed to be inaugurated? Will you please take the oath of office? In the presence of those assembled here and in full realization of the high calling I assume as Executive Pre Deputy President in the service of the Republic of South Africa, I, Thabo Mvelo Mbeki, do hereby swear to be faithful to the Republic of South Africa and to solemnly and sincerely promise at all times to promote that which will advance and to oppose all that may harm the Republic, to obey, observe, uphold, and maintain the Constitution and all other law of the Republic, to discharge my duties with all my strength and talents to the best of my knowledge and ability and true to the dictates of my conscience to do justice to all, and to devote myself to the well-being of the Republic and all its people. Will you please raise your right hand and say, so help me God. So help me God. Please be seated and sign the oath. So Thabo Mbeki as first Deputy President signs the Bible and the oath and is once again greeted by Nelson Mandela and in a moment Nelson Mandela himself will take the oath it's worth noting the only change in this oath from the oath that was taken by the Afrikaner nationalist president by F.W. de Klerk and others is that the words in the presence of Almighty God have been the dropped president in favour of the words the in the presence of those Africa. assembled here. Mr. Nelson Kholisasa Mandela to proceed to the table. <laughs> this is the moment that the thousands outside have come to hear and you can hear their cheers as he comes to the podium 
echoing from down below. Will you please take the oath of office? In the presence of those assembled here and in full realization of the high calling, I assume as executive president in the service of the Republic of South Africa, I, Nelson Holisata Mandela, do hereby swear to be faithful to the Republic of South Africa and do solemnly and sincerely promise at all times to promote that which will advance and to oppose all that may harm the Republic, to obey, observe, uphold and maintain the Constitution and all other laws of the Republic, to discharge my duties with all my strength and talent to the best of my knowledge and ability and true to the dictates of my conscience, due to justice to all, and to devote myself to the well-being of the Republic and all its people. Will you please raise your right hand and say, so help me God. So help me God. Mandela signs the oath in turn. And the Honorable Chief Justice finishes this part of the ceremony. Now, next we have four prayers. The first, the Hindu prayer for peace, which will be given by Pranlal Lakhani, who was actually born in the same town as Mahatma Gandhi in Gujarat. Mahatma Gandhi who came here as a young lawyer, and he's president of the South African Hindu Mahasabha, which is a religious body representing something like a million Indians who live in this country. We will now ask the religious leaders but, uh, to But there's some celebration of the inauguration oath to be got through first, informal, not on the program. Desmond Tutu embracing President Mandela and he's being congratulated by those who'll be giving these prayers. Chief Rabbi Cyril Harris there. <coughs> and Sheikh Nazim Mohammed was born in Cape Town in the famous District 6. Who'll be reading from the Quran representing half a million Muslims in this country. Um. O Supreme Lord, self-existent, all intelligence, all bliss, creator of the universe, O inspirer of good thoughts and good deeds, may we be imbued with thy grace and thy glory. Mayest thou be the unerring guide of our minds, and may we follow thy lead unto righteousness. Sarve bhavantu sakinaha, sarve santu niramaya, sarve badrani pashyantu, ma kaschit dukhamapnuyat. O Lord, in thee may all be happy, may all be free from misery, may all realize goodness, and may no one suffer pain. Om Dyo Santi, Ranta Riksham Shanti, Prathvi Shanti, Rapa Shanti, Roshadaya Shanti, Vanaspataya Shanti, Vishwedeva Shanti, Brahma Shanti, 
Shurigum Shanti, Shanti Reva Shanti, Shama Santi Revi. O Supreme Lord, thy celestial regions are full of peace and harmony. Peace reigns on thy earth and thy waters. Thy herbs and trees are full of peace. All the forces of nature are full of peace and harmony. There is peace and perfection in thy eternal knowledge. Everything in the universe is peaceful and peace pervades everywhere. O oh Lord, may that peace come to us. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Now an Old Testament reading from, from Chief Rabbi Cyril Harris. Isaiah. Thus saith the Lord, For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great compassion will I gather thee in. In a little anger I turned my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have compassion on thee. In righteousness shalt thou be established, Thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come nigh unto thee. Violence shall no more be heard in the land, nor ruin and devastation within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy ramparts salvation, and thy gates glory. Justice shall make its home even in the wilderness, and righteousness dwell in the grassland, and the work of righteousness shall be peace, and the fruit thereof quietness and confidence forever. Then shall my people live in a peaceful habitation, and in safe dwellings, and tranquil resting places, it shall be cool on the slopes of the forest then, and cities will lie at peace in the plain. Happy shalt thou be, sowing every man by the waterside, and letting his ox and ass run free. For though the mountains shall depart, and the hills be removed, my love shall never depart from thee, neither shall the covenant of my peace ever be removed from thee. Shalom, shalom, larachok v'lakarov, amar Hashem urfativ, peace, peace, unto everyone whether near or far away for I shall heal you all saith the Lord the Glaswegian lilt of the chief rabbi of South Africa Cyril Harris who was born in Glasgow came out here in 1988 and now reading from the Quran Sheikh Nazim Muhammad Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil mursaleen Sayyidina wa Nabiyina wa Mawlana Muhammadin wa ala Ali wa sahbih wa ala al-anbiya wal mursaleen ajma'een All praise and thanks to Allah, Lord of the world. And may his blessings and peace be bestowed upon his Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his family and friends and all prophets and messengers. Allah says in the Holy Quran, Ya ayyuhan nas, inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha wa ja'alnakum shu'uban wa qaba'ila lita'arafu inna akramakum indallahi atqaakum O people, I have created you from male and female and have made you nations and tribes so that you may know and understand one another. The most honored amongst you in the sight of Allah is he who is the most God-fearing. Allah says in another verse of the Holy Quran, 
وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمْ And we have honored the children of Adam. O oh Allah, let us know and understand one another. Let us adhere to thy command. Let us honor one another. For thou hast honored the children of our father Adam. O oh Allah, we are in thy hands. We have now reached the position, O oh Lord, where the leaders have been chosen by the people. Give them, those who will lead us, grant them strength, wisdom and courage to undertake the difficult task to govern our country justly and with fairness. We appeal to you, O Allah, to grant this government of national unity the scope to carry out its task. Let there be reconciliation and love. Let us move forward united in our responsibility seeking frontiers which will bring prosperity. Give us strength, O Allah, to dispel all hatred and enmity. Let love and understanding reign over us. O Allah, we went through turbulent times. 